Customizing your Resolume layout is a great way to make your workflow more efficient and enjoyable. In this video, I'll show you some hidden panels that you might need, how to hide the ones you don't, and how to customize and rearrange your layout and save layout presets for easy access. This is the default layout of Resolume, and it's pretty good at showing you the basics for getting started with Resolume. Underneath your grid of clips and layers, you've got a couple of basic settings and buttons for BPM. You've also got browsers over here for files, effects, and sources that are ready to drop into your project. You've got the details panels for clips, layers, and the composition. And on this side, you've got a preview and composition monitor so you can see what you're doing. But there are a lot of hidden panels that aren't shown in this view and this layout might not be the optimal layout for you during your show. Let's take a look under the view menu. You'll see that there are several items here that are unchecked. These are panels and UI items that the bigwigs at Resolume are hiding from you. What else are you hiding from us, Bart? What else are you hiding? We need to know. Let's take a closer look at some of these hidden panels. For example, there's a group properties panel that appears when you add groups to your composition. And a slices browser panel that's necessary for adding slices to effects like slice transform. There's also a notes panel that was added recently that allows you to add notes inside your show file. Show hardware stats displays CPU, RAM, and VRAM percentages so you can see if you're pushing your system too hard and risking performance issues or crashes. Show layer transport and transition controls add additional controls to the layers. Ableton Link, Stage Link, and TCNet might be useful if you're connecting your Resolume computer to a DJ Dex or an Ableton machine. And Sempty and Clip Time might be useful if you're running a timecode show. Showing FFT gain can be useful if you have audio coming into your show file. And we've also got panel monitors. and a render queue. As you can see, there's a lot of additional panels under the hood, but there's more in this view menu. At the bottom of the menu, you can find your layout presets. Default will get us back to where we started. And the rest are example layout options that might work better for your show or it might be a good starting place for creating a custom layout for yourself. Changing the layout is pretty simple. Turn on and off the panels you want and rearrange them by dragging their top bar. You can drag their edges to resize and drag a panel over an existing panel to create tabs. This icon shows you where this tab will be positioned. You can right click a panel to undock it, which will bring it to its own window that can be brought onto a second display. Monitors can be duplicated to add more. And using the gear icon, you can choose from a number of options that you'd like to monitor. And when you've got something that you like, you can go ahead and save the layout with a custom name. Now we'll add it to the list so you can easily recall it later. Bonus tip, panels will appear where they were last placed. So if there's a panel that you might want to hide and unhide periodically throughout working in your composition, 
you should set a place for every panel that you're likely to use and then go ahead and hide them. If you want to learn more about setting up a show file or transferring presets like this to another machine, check out these videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.